For many Edmontonians, finding a place where they can live and grow to face the challenges of everyday life is a challenge in itself. Affordable housing can meet the needs of these people and the housing challenges created by population growth and city expansion. Affordable housing can be beautiful, safe, and help to create a strong and vibrant community. Architect Gene Dubb designed the city market on the corner of 97th Street and 101st Avenue. On December 1st, it will open up 72 new doors. Ron Wickman designed the Ted Bradshaw House, a 10-unit three-story building in Bonnie Doon for adults with developmental disabilities. Tony and Pete Pino are developers of the Italian Village Affordable Housing Project in Little Italy. Providing 78 new homes, it is located at 95th Street and 107th Avenue. Cease Jones is the executive director of Amisk Affordable Housing Society, an organization that provides housing for Aboriginal families at risk. Amisk Manor is one of those homes. It has 16 units. Against all the realities of our present situation, there are still many myths about affordable housing. Too many new units mean too many cars. The fact is, people who live in affordable housing typically own fewer cars and take public transportation. People who live in affordable housing won't fit into my community. The fact is, People who need affordable housing already live and work in your community. Residents of affordable housing move often and aren't active members of their community. The fact is, housing that is affordable for the long term contributes to housing stability. Affordable housing increases crime. The fact is, there's no relationship between affordable housing and crime well-designed projects contribute to safety. Affordable housing developments are unattractive and second-rate. The fact is, some of the most innovative and attractive housing projects include affordable housing. From facts come stories of success. Meet people whose quality of life has changed for the better since finding affordable housing. Susan and her husband have eight children and have always struggled to make ends meet. Her family lived in a trailer, moved into a hotel, and couldn't get off welfare. Susan and her family found Nellie No Manor, an affordable townhouse located at 118th Avenue and 59th Street. Susan notices what a difference it has made in her children's lives. She says they feel settled now. Some of them have joined the volleyball and basketball teams at school. She says that affordable housing has made a difference. Dallas, a single father of two girls, was barely making ends meet. Before he found affordable housing, rent was steep. When Dallas and his two girls moved into Greystone, an affordable housing townhouse on 117th Avenue and 108th Street, he found that he had a little extra money left over at the end of the month. He knows all of his neighbors, and he feels a part of the community. On a good day, he can watch all of the neighborhood kids playing outside. An affordable place to live has given Dallas and his girls a new start. From people to places, facts to success, affordable housing in your community works.